Hi guys, this is Karan Shah from Bollywood Life, and we have the ace photographer turned producer now, Atul Kasbeker, with us. His film starring Sonam Kapoor, Nirja, is releasing this Friday. So let's have a chat with them. Hi Atul, how are you? Very good. So, uh, what prompted you to take up production? You know, um, I've had a management company for years. Yeah. And uh, we've are constantly talking about deals in some movie space for yeah. one of our people, and uh, and constantly casting for something. Yeah. So it seemed like a logical progression because we um, are in the mix. Yeah. You know, all the time. Uh, having said that, uh, the one of my partners, uh, Shanti Sevaram. Uh, is a good friend of Simon Quarters, okay. who's the writer of Mary Com. Yeah. Mary Com had not released at that time. Okay. And uh, she brought a seven pager and said, uh, "AK, this is very interesting. Yeah. It's about this girl called Nirja Banot." Hmm. And I must have been one of hundred people in the country who remembered her. Yeah. I was in the U.S. studying photography when okay. uh, the Pan Am flight was hijacked. Okay. And because it was an American airline and there were lots of American passengers involved. Uh, I was aware because it was uh, the news yeah. of it, so I always found that fascinating. And I read the seven pages. Seven pages very good. So yeah. I called Simon. I said, "Look, if we get the rights, then we'll definitely make the movie." Because, yeah. um, I mean, I spent more than twenty years in the business, you know, as a photographer. So yeah. there's a some amount of goodwill anyway in yeah. the market, you know. So it would have been easy for us to put together a simpler project to do. Yeah. But uh, our logic was, if we do something that is challenging, and yeah. that is difficult, and, yeah. you know, then and if it works well, yeah. then people will look and say, "Ki yar, ye dhanga kam kiya." Yeah. You know, so yeah. it would, I, uh, as producers, it give us a lot of respect yeah. more than anything else. So. Yeah. My second question was going to be that that how how did you decide on taking such a risky film? Like you know, it's a biopic and it's a sensitive topic also, Nirja. So, what prompted you to you take know, up that issue? I think um, there were a series of events that sort of happened in a weird kind of uh, you know cosmic spiritual way that led us into into this path. Yeah. To be honest, too complicated to explain. But uh-huh. um, uh, my simple logic was: if we are making a movie, yeah. that I've constantly heard this complaint when I've been shooting stills yeah. for movie productions that. Yeah, where are the stories? Where is the content? Yeah. Where are the stories? You know, yeah. it's the same kind of ghaza pita kind of nonsense happening. And I've honestly believed that that is a silly argument because yeah. it's a big, huge, great country with yeah. so many different kinds of people. Yeah. Of course, we have stories. Yeah. You know, we and have, we have yeah. some great stories. How yeah. can you tell me there aren't any stories? Yeah. You just have to find them. Yeah. You know, and this was one such. So we said, let's make. A, this is important. Hmm. Let's make a script first. Okay. That on paper is actor proof. Okay. And that means that the studio should. Uh, read it yeah. and say this is terrific. We want to make this movie, and then ask the next question: Who is the actor you want? Okay. You know, as yeah. opposed to doing the reverse. Yeah, yeah. So we said, let's just have a great story that when someone reads it, they say, we want to tell this story. Yeah, and that's where it came about because now everyone's saying, oh, what a great subject to choose. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. So, yeah. so uh, which is nice, yeah. but it started with the exact frame of mind to do exactly that. Okay. So how did you decide on casting Sonam Kapoor in the lead, and how supportive was it was she to the film? So um, we ran the seven pager by her, saying, "Listen, we want to make this movie, and uh, we want to turn producers with this one." And she said, "You're mad." Then uh, we said, "So read this." She read it and said, "This is great." So we said, "We wanted to act in it," and she said, "You're completely mad." <laughs> so you know. And <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah. So he's saying, uh, and who's the director? I said, there's a first the guy who hasn't done a Hindi film before. Yeah. His name is Ram Madhavani. He's a good friend of mine. He's yeah. a brilliant ad filmmaker. Yeah. She said, I, what is wrong with you? You want to take a difficult subject. You want to make a film, like female oriented film, and you want to take a first time director. Yeah. Any other clever ways to commit suicide? <laughs> you know. So, yeah. <laughs> that that is. But any aspect of her acting that you? Uh, She's a. Uh, like I, I don't think Sonam has got the credit she deserves. We yeah. honestly believe it was really a list of one. We would have gone to somebody else uh, if Sonam had said no. Okay. Um, she's one of our clients. She looks a lot like Nirja. Mm-hmm. She's like Punjabi, and all the nuances of the family etc. Were, were, were working very well. Uh huh. So I told her you. Mull over it, and uh-huh. if it appeals to you, we definitely. So the it. look was because of that you cast her. Or any and other I think, aspect. I as think well. she's a subtler actress. Uh-huh. We don't give enough credit to subtler sort mm-hmm. of acting. We mm-hmm. get caught up by melodrama. Uh-huh. We think, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But 
you know to be understated is also a different form of acting yeah. and she is much more understated in the way she acts which appeals to me and i okay. thought that this would be uh, um perfect casting after you see the movie i promise you yeah. you cannot imagine anyone else doing it so do you think through nirja she'll get the appreciation that she hasn't received till now beyond doubt okay yeah okay so tell us how has your journey as a producer been like till now um so it was interesting that we took the first version of the script to rucha pathak who was okay. the creative producer at uh, at another company actually mm-hmm. gave it to her she said this is terrific yeah i'm moving to another firm yeah and uh, when i join foxstar mm-hmm. uh, the first call i will make will be to you okay so we said great okay true to her word you know when she moved to foxstar she called us before we called her okay. and she said bring that no, let's talk okay. and um, you know and after that what happened was that you know i had to convince first of all people in my office that ram would be brilliant then yeah. everybody was convinced that ram would be brilliant then yeah. i had to convince the studio that ram would be brilliant okay. then everybody in the studio was convinced ram would be brilliant okay and uh, and of course the actor and everybody else yeah. and then because um he has a certain process he works with which i greatly yeah. admire yeah. and made it happen so all the production stuff that had to happen um i just decided to work in a manner such that listen ram eventually if it wins You, you know best director the best movie you will have to go and collect it and if it gets a one star review you're the one who's going to live by it yeah. so the final edit will be yours now you tell me what you need okay. and you create your own little world for your vision i will yeah. protect your vision okay. and that's i spent all my time just keeping my director cozy and safe okay so in the making video we saw the whole plane being created from scratch so that would be a producer's nightmare so when you heard about you know you heard drama madhwani saying that you know we have to do this what did what was your first reaction you know i was a little bit nervous to be honest about that mm-hmm. but um, uh, ram had this attitude where if you have to build a palace you have to build a palace yeah then we can argue about the detailing and the cost yeah okay but that's aesthetics and time and manual labor and money yeah. okay if you sort all those out you can do that yeah he, what was to him more important to control is the art part of it the yeah. the human interaction the yeah. emotions you know the rest of it he said wo ho jayega because wo ho sakta hai yeah but um, you know to capture the nuances of the character and to build a really strong uh, equation between people and and uh, have the background of 250 passengers not overreacting yeah. like a lot of our extras do you know so we never referred to our people as extras for example it was, yeah. it was a featured cast so to yeah. make a plane yeah. was we had to make a plane it yeah. was very difficult yeah because the 1986 jumbo jet um is obviously the configuration are totally different now totally the business class yeah. in those days did not become a sleeper yeah. you know it was yeah. like it went to 60 degrees or whatever yeah. you know yeah. so um, we um we recreated it completely based on a manual down to the last rivet and the door and it was just absolutely okay. bang on perfect okay on that regard so we're quite proud of that yeah. but you know if you have the resources you yeah. can make a play yeah you know yeah so What we've done with the human emotions actually yeah. is something I'm much prouder of. Okay. Yeah, and that's really due to some spectacular work by Ram. Okay. We've seen many films like you know Bajirao Mastani and Ali being criticized because they have failed to highlight some key points. So, but you guys have you know involved the family much more. So, do you think they will? Uh, did they approve of everything in the first go? Well, um, I. Can I tell you how grateful I am to the way Akhil and Anish Banot have handled Nija's brothers have yeah. handled this. I mean, I don't think people in my family would give me this much trust and faith. Yeah. It just seemed like a connection and saying, "Yar, tu kar de apni picture, don't worry." Hmm. You know. So, I mean, contractually we had it ki you will come and you will read the script and you will sign off the script, hmm. which they did. Yeah. But there was no ye change karo and do you mind that mm-hmm. you, uh-huh. know, uh, you know we had given some fictional names to some other characters mm. so he said you know this is my nephew's name if you can change this name he said okay I'll change it yeah so it just so uh, there was uh, an incredible incredible amount of trust and faith at both ends yeah and i think that gave us a tremendous amount of responsibility to make sure that we didn't let them down in okay. any way. yeah you know i when i go to chandigarh i want them to call me and you know yeah. pay Yeah, हमारे यहाँ के आलू पराठे काले हैं ना? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make आलू पराठे. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> like really. Like all good family in Chandigarh. Yeah. 
So, have you shown them the film or they haven't you? seen it? They want to see it uh, with their family. Okay. And uh, uh, so they will see for show on the nineteenth. Okay. So Sonam hasn't seen it yet. She oh. sees it tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. So a lot of other people have seen it, but she's been busy promoting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. yelling at us right now, saying, "Yeah, I have not seen it." <laughs> so as you said, that people have seen it, and you know, it's garnered a lot of. Uh, good reactions from the people in the industry. Which is the best compliment that you've received from someone till now? So two people independently said uh, um, something very similar, and they said, "In in time to come, mm-hmm. I think Nija will be seen as a very important movie." Okay. So um, you know, which to me, in my head, I'm translating it as, if you were to see, let's say. Other films that I th- I would say are important films would be something mm-hmm. like a Tarzan Zameen or a you know mm-hmm. or a Lagan or a whatever. So the movie is timeless twenty years from now also. You know if you see if you see Tarzan Zameen for twenty years from now mm-hmm. it's still perfect. Yeah. You know and in every yeah. single way. So um, if more people say that about Nirja then yeah. I think we'll have achieved something. And the things about box office and all honestly you know is not something that I'm losing sleep over. At okay. All. Yeah. We've made the movie under budget. Okay. We finished four days ahead of schedule. Okay. Uh, these are terms that are not normally heard. Yeah. You know, totally. In, in yeah. Never. I, I don't think so. We worked yeah. very, very hard. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone on the unit who hasn't put a bit of their soul in this. Yeah. And uh, but after that, now you know. Okay. Shahid is one of your close friends, and now that you've ventured into production, do you plan to make a film with him too? We. We actually are planning four or five uh, other uh, movies, but again, it's at the point where we're working on the script to yeah. get the script where we are three okay. bits, yeah. and then take it to. Okay. So each one has a director attached. Okay. And uh, yeah, and in fact, all of them. Uh, there are four in conversation with the director already attached. Okay. Uh, we are um, not really talking. So when we go to a studio. Yeah. Uh, If it's for development or whatever, we're saying they say who's the actor. We say we don't know. Okay. Yeah. We want to make the story. This is how we want to do it. Okay. If you're okay yeah. with it, let us know. Okay. So, so any particular story that you want to tell? No, they're totally world. different genres. Okay. It is not like none of them have anything to do with the biopic. Okay. So, so all different genres. Yeah. I mean, a good story is a good story is a yeah. good story. I mean, I'm yeah. as much a fan of Schindler's List as I am of True Lies, and yeah. I enjoyed the Rocky series as well. So yeah. you know. I yeah. watch all kinds of interesting fun cinema. Any actor or actress that you would really want to work with? Oh, uh, as a producer. Anybody who puts their soul into it, yeah. I think okay. uh, and and I think a lot of people now have sort of understood that it's the movie, the movie, the movie. So everybody is doing one film at a time. Everybody is putting their heart and soul into that project before they get into something else. So I think from 15 20 years ago the industry has changed in a huge way. Yeah. And uh, it's I believe for the better. So yeah. Anything you want to tell the people who are going to watch Neerja? Um you know for us what's remarkable about Neerja Banot uh, was that she was the girl next door. Yeah. She's 23 years old. and she went to st xavier's college before that she was in bombay scottish school and in every city i'm sure all of us know somebody of that description yeah. you know went to columbus went to yeah. you know, um, dps whatever you know yeah. and uh, la martine in every city there'll be some equivalent of that yeah. this is really the girl next door yeah. you know and one fine day you wake up in the morning and you realize this is just a unbelievably brave Uh, story yeah. and it's a different kind of bravery if four people get into a plane armed to the teeth and their plans fail and they're completely unhinged and you know screw loose uh it's a difficult difficult situation to handle yeah and it's not like she can drop kick them or karate chop the other and, yeah. you know beat the daylight sort of people yeah. with ak47s and whatever yeah. let's get real okay yeah. so it's a different kind of courage and bravery that she has exhibited and i think there's a lesson that you can overcome any situation if you face it and you overcome your fear and 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 you can go above and beyond regrettably she passed away in the process yeah but um, you know she's become a legend the other thing that really bothers me that i think as a country we tend to forget a lot of our really special heroes yeah and uh, even more so with our heroines and to me nija banot is a very special heroine yeah i'm hoping if after our film releases uh a lot more people remember her yeah that'd be nice you should not forget people like this yeah thanks a lot for talking with us atul my pleasure
all the best for your film thank you so much please do watch new jain the theaters near you guys thank you